Hello, hello beautiful Cancer, and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem, and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer. I'm going to get started on your spiritual growth messages, um, and then I will timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. Um, so what I did, as I always do, I script channel. Um, and I take a picture of it. I post it on the community page. So if you're interested in taking a further look into that, I'm just going to read you through what I was able to script and channel for you um, while I was picking up on your energies prior to hitting record. Um, and then we will move through the oracle um, and tarot cards and seeing um, how the messages unfold. Um, please bear in mind that this is general. Um, also, energies and readings are either past, present, and or future. So please use your discernment at all times, especially using your discernment of which timeline that you are on. Um, sometimes health messages may also arise in readings. This could be for you or someone that you are um, closely related or connected to, okay? Um, Cancer, your message is sometimes good shit happens. <laughs> and this was something I immediately picked up on as soon as I got your energy. Um, I kept getting visions of someone looking over their shoulder and feeling as if something was there, but it wasn't necessarily there. It was almost like a phantom threat um, is something that I was getting immediately. Like there's this threat but it's phantom. It's not necessarily there. Um, and I do feel like this is related to your past experiences, um, traumas from the past, things that you have healed and dealt with. But there's this phantom-like energy, ghost-like energy of the traumas that you have previously experienced. Um, the message here for you is that you are not damaged. You have nothing to heal in this specific moment in time that you are watching this reading that you are living your life day to day um you're not damaged okay so therefore there is nothing to heal um so enjoy enjoy because good shit happens okay um i know easier said than done um so we will take a look at this energy and see what needs to come through furthermore for you and unfold it a little bit more okay um I also got the message of a lost friend or a lost dog. Um, not sure how this ties in. This could just be like a side message for someone out there. Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Um, I also saw 44 on a doorway. Um, some kind of present gateway is extremely protected. As you know, 444 is the number of divine protection. Um, so I'm getting a lot of protection energy of the present moment right now. Of things that you are... I want us to say willing to experience things that you are wanting and willing to experience in your now moment. Um, I also got the number eight for you. Um, and very, very specifically, the 8 8 portal of next year. Um, so 2020, 2023, 8 8 portal is going to be very significant in your space. Okay, not exactly sure how. We may get messages on this. Um, we'll see how, how that messages needs to come through for you um i also got detoxification energy um like this is a physical physical detoxification energy you could be um you know eating really well you could be working out you could just be um extremely mindful of that energy um and very, very specifically, the liver was emphasized, okay? So someone is like cleansing out their liver, healing their liver. Um, their liver is regenerating. There's some kind of regeneration in the liver that is taking place. I'm also getting a message right now that's coming through of a person that, that has passed um, and they dealt with alcoholism. Um, I'm also getting a really short fuse. Someone is being described as a short fuse or having some kind of temper or um, having a short fuse of some kind. Um, I'm also getting this connected to a, 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 a lover or like a romantic person. Um, but I'm definitely feeling that there's a, a person here that has passive alcoholism. Um, Okay, so that message is coming through for someone. Um, I don't know if there's anything that they want to relay at this time. I just kind of feel that energy in the space. 
we'll see if there, there's any other messages that need to come through for you when we get into the cards um, and as we continue to further channel. I also wrote down injecting a little bit of intensity because there's something here that's being injected into your energy space that's like creating some kind of surge. It's, it feels enjoyment. It feels like joy. It feels like bliss. I'm getting a lot of um, six of cups and ten of cups energy, even nine of cups energy. Um, doing something that you really want, doing something that you love to do, but it's being injected with a little bit more, um, with a little bit more intensity than than normal than usual um i also got numbers 12 12 2 3 3 and 5 6 7 in your space okay that may mean something very specifically for you um take what resonates leave what doesn't so i have quite a few oracle cards that i want to get into for you um we have the crows we have the water elements that i feel really present in the collective space still um, but first, I'm going to go to the Ascended Masters Oracle deck because I feel there's a very specific guide for you that you're looking to hear from or that is wanting to reach out to you for a very specific message um, that ties to this sometimes good shit happens, Cancer, and enjoy it, okay? There's no need to look over your shoulder. There's no need to um, expect that there is doom okay just because of what you have experienced in the past and the traumas um that you have endured um sometimes good shit happens okay i'm gonna keep repeating that so <laughs> all right yeah at the bottom of the deck the holy spirit expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally and spirit has your back so remember how i kept feeling like something was like something was on your back um some kind of energy like this phantom this ghost-like energy of um like you had to turn around um that you constantly had to look over your shoulder um it's interesting because this holy spirit energy is coming through as um whenever you get the feeling of this phantom ghost-like energy of constantly looking over your shoulder for um doom for bad things that will occur for i don't know anything negative that you're subconsciously i feel like you're subconsciously associating um to bad things happening because of what you've experienced in the past this holy spirit energy is saying whenever you feel this phantom like energy come in just remember the holy spirit just remember that miracles were, will occur occur naturally, excuse me, and spirit has your back, okay? This phantom-like energy of the past, of the traumas, is not real. What is real is this energy, okay? So it's almost like to redirect your attention whenever you feel the need to look over your shoulder and have the sphere. It's almost like a reminder to bring yourself back and remember the Holy Spirit's energy. Okay, Spirit has your back. All right, so I feel like that was the message. Um, I'm gonna just shuffle and get one more. Oh, that's beautiful. Master Jesus at the bottom of the deck. Um, and you have your Hilarion, divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. And this is interesting because what was the message I said earlier? I said you're not damaged. Therefore, there is nothing to heal in this now moment. I feel like what Hilarion and what the Holy Spirit are relaying to you is that there's nothing that you physically, there's nothing that you have to action regarding your regarding your healing energy you've done the shadow work you've done the work up to the point that you needed to now it's time for you to just kind of like surrender it and let it go and let spirit do the work that is necessary for you let spirit take your worries and take your concerns away it's almost like let it go and let god right let go and let the universe however you want to phrase that for you okay um so I feel like this divine healing is more so of just giving it to spirit, giving it to spirit because your message right now is to enjoy, is to enjoy, okay? 
It's almost like you thinking that you have to heal something because you feel this ghost-like energy. You feel this phantom trauma. Um, but it's not here. It's, it's not here. Okay, I do feel like um, now that I'm picking up on this phantom trauma energy in your space, I do feel like Hilarion is playing a really key important role in a sense of healing that energy and just kind of like shoving and moving that phantom trauma away so that you're no longer feeling the ghosts of the past. Okay, does that make sense? Um, okay. All right, so let's get an animal water element message for you. And then we'll get into the crows and then your tarot spread. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this says empower yourself. Number 29, which is 11. And it says tune in to your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. Okay, and the second one is 34, the gift of neutrality. All right, and this one says balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. This is interesting. 34 is a 7, 29 is an 11. Um, that is 7, 11. Okay, I'm also seeing something very significant occur on November 7th. I'm seeing now 11-7. Um, specifically November 7th. There was some kind of shift in your space that you shifted into. Excuse me. Or stepped into. All right. Let's get into the crows. Ah, I had to look at the bottom. So the bottom is... Oh my goodness, oh, sorry. The bottom is 18, clearing the excess. Okay, um, I definitely feel Hilarion's energy here. You are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess, clut excess clutter where it is in your physical body or your physical space. So remember how I was saying, I feel like this excess energy is a phantom trauma, is a phantom energy. It's not really there. Um, and that's the feeling that I'm getting. So I feel like Hilarion is just confirming this excess, this phantom excess energy, because you are stepping into empowering yourself. You are stepping into neutrality, this energy of balance. You're stepping into your power. You're stepping into yourself. Okay. You have your 32 nature. This is about connecting with nature, okay? I am also sensing distance. You have here grief also at the bottom, 22, 22 and 14. Um, I do feel like this could, this is a side message for someone. I do feel like someone has passed that you um, had a strange relationship with. Um, the relation, this person passed before you could resolve an issue, um, before you could mend, um, is something that I'm feeling here. I don't know if this is a, this same message to the person that has passed, um, with alcoholism, um, but I, I, I don't know. I'm, the fact that I'm connecting that could be a message for someone out there. Um, this is to connect, Connect to nature, okay? Connect back to nature is something that I'm seeing here. Um, I'm also seeing you distance yourself from, from others um, because there's a lot of distance between this group of crows here and this one. This, this is you. This is a group of energy here that you're very much distanced from and that distance is just confirming that energy
but this distance is uh for your benefit okay for your benefit right now okay i feel like you're going to come back you're going to come back to uh to friends to family to groups of people um as soon as you make the transition into coming back to self okay that this energy, this group of energy, the friends, the family, whatever it may that may be for you will happen naturally. Okay. Um, I'm getting this energy of like, that's not going anywhere. Okay. That's not going anywhere. Nature is also not going anywhere. Okay. Mother Gaia does not go anywhere. All right. Queen of fire. Okay. So this is very, very beautiful. This is your overall energy. And it's interesting because I'm just noticing the 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 power of red right now in these two cards it's just really really beautiful very powerful energies that are coming through for you with this um gift of neutrality and balance i do feel like uh cancer you are entering a new state of confidence okay this is your overall energy which is stunning I do see, again, injecting a little bit of intensity is something that I was channeling. Injecting a little bit of intensity. And this is this energy right here. That red, that power, that fire. Um, it is intense energy, okay? You might even ask yourself, where is this intense energy coming from? It's coming from you. You, you are calling this intense energy in to yourself. You are injecting yourself with this intense energy. I feel the sun's energy because um, the sun represents vitality. It makes everything to have more life, so to speak, to have, ev it gives more energy and more life to something and so i feel like you are the sun you are this light you are this fire and you are giving life and giving energy and injecting a little bit more into yourself and into your life um and into everything that you are doing okay i feel like that is a transition that is the step that you are making okay um, like you're injecting yourself into nature right now as well. Okay, yes, transformation. Number 13, you also have the nine of air. This is a nine of swords energy, but here I went specifically to this deck for you because you're definitely in a new energy. You're in a new state of consciousness, a new state of mind. Um... Let me get the rest of your cards out. Yeah, High Priestess immediately wanted to emerge. I'm getting it also, and uh, your intuition is also transforming. Your third eye, you hear the six of earth representing of that neutrality energy, balance, yin and yang. The tower, beautiful. This is number 16 which is seven. This is another seven. You're getting a lot of sevens in your space. Wow. The emperor. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Um, the three of earth at the bottom. The eight. I knew it. I, was, I literally was about to say this. This emperor is actually transitioning us in this energy to read for your love reading um because there's something here that is going to surprise you a person is going to su surprise you i'm also getting one six four um you also have your the two of cups okay we'll talk about this energy in it's almost like again this person just kind of injected themselves into this reading um so that's really interesting how we're transitioning there. Anyways, what I want to say, just getting back into your spiritual message. 
I feel like this this phantom trauma, this phantom ghost like energy is in fact is presenting itself to me as a subconscious thought. These thoughts arise from your subconscious. It's almost like the thought so they're showing me a thread. So the thought is a thread from your subconscious mind trying to weave itself. And I'm going to show you what I'm seeing here. This is actually, I'm seeing representation of your subconscious mind. This nine of swords energy, okay? Representation of your, of your subconscious mind that is divinely being protected and healed. Because this is where Hilarion is healing right now in your subconscious mind. Okay, swirling around your energy right now, swirling around your subconscious mind, because these are where these thoughts are coming from of negativity, a feeling like you have to look over your shoulder as if doom is coming, expecting the worst when something amazing is come is coming to you, when something when good shit happens, <laughs> the tower, the six of pentacles, transformation. Um these thoughts are being presented as threads okay and they're trying to weave they weave into your consciousness they weave into your mind they weave into your third eye they weave into your intuition giving you false intuitive energies it's almost like i want to say anxiety and it's almost like, because it is, it feels very anxious, like anxiousness. Anxiety is not intuition. This is the energy I'm getting right here. Nine of Swords, High Priestess. Anxiety is not intuition. Do you see that? Very clear message right there. I'm also seeing like you'll get stuck on a thought or stuck, you'll you'll get stuck into some kind of like repetition. It's something that I'm seeing here as well with the um, divine angels moving in this circular momentum in your subconscious mind. They're swirling and swirling and swirling, but this is also depicting that you swirl like thoughts repeat themselves in your mind. This is anxiety. This is anxiousness. Um, but again, that's phantom-like energy. That's a phantom energy. Um, and I see your angels. I see here Hilarion taking these energies away. Because they're not going to manifest into your reality. They just, they won't. They won't. You're heavily protected. That's why I saw 44 on a doorway. That's why I saw 44, 444 in the present portal. Because we can manifest from our subconscious mind. We manifest all the time. We're creating constantly from our thoughts. Whether we know or we don't know, conscious or unconscious. And I feel like this is something that you may be fearing, um, like fearing repetition of the past and past traumas, but that's not the case. That's not the case, okay? You are divinely protected at this time, and this phantom trauma and excess energy and these thoughts that you're having that are attempting to thread into your reality when they're not, they're being cleared out. Okay, they're being cleared out. So I definitely want to say here, um, you may invoke the Holy Spirit and you may also invoke Hilarion to work with you. Um... There's a lot of greenery here. There's a lot of heart chakra activation. I'm getting um, jade 
as a, as a, as a stone, as a crystal, if you don't have one, I highly recommend that you get one, wear it, carry it around you, um, you can even offer it to Hilarion, um, to assist you in this phantom clearing, okay, um, so you're going through as you, because this is your overall energy, okay? Your energy is being pushed forward. You're going through a massive transition right now as you step into, step into this energy, stepping into your confidence, building from your confidence, building, okay? Because the energy is already there for you in your reality. It's like it's all the seeds have already been planted. They have already been birthed out the womb. And it's just ready to grow. The phoenix in, is in your hands. Tomorrow the phoenix is going to get bigger. The next day the phoenix is going to get bigger. There's, there's something here that is growing. Okay? It's growing. You're building. Building from this newfound confidence building from the energies that you are injecting into yourself and into your life, into your experiences is what I'm also getting here with the six of earth. All of these pentacles that are dangling from this beautiful energy are experiences. You're going to have a balanced experience is something that I'm seeing here, which is interesting the way the six of earth is coming through. You're going to be experiencing a balanced experience, meaning it's not going to be so extreme or hot and cold. Um, it's almost like a nice plateau, like a very nice... Um, neutral energy you're entering a neutral energy space okay um which is really really beautiful okay so i'm going to get into your love reading because i'm here at the tail end i don't know if you can see that i'm sorry i didn't even like show the cards this was at the tail end um i keep getting this number 164 the, well it keeps being capturing my attention 164 164 I don't know what that means may mean something for you um could also be 416 I'm getting the month of April um Aries energy obviously here with the emperor but there's something here where someone is going to surprise you going to shock you um get more on this energy of you're the two of cups three of earth and the eight of cups it's interesting because i feel like you're on one end they're on the other do you see how this person in the three of earth is doing this kind of like what's out in the distance what is that what is that this person is on the other side of something you're on the other side, but you are flowing together, two of cups. Again, I want to reiterate, sometimes good shit happens. Sometimes good shit happens, okay? That's your energy. There's something good happening in this relationship. So what I'm going to do, let me clear this. Thank you to the Holy Spirit and to Hilarion for coming out, okay? All right. I'm going to leave these two cards out as we transition into your love reading. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to get an oracle from the Moonology. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. I'm going to shuffle though. What's sticking out to me is something is within reach. Where it wasn't in reach before. Okay. 
believe in the impossible. You can't make it up. Take time to breathe out. Breathe it out. Don't hold your breath. Believe in the impossible. Your entire theme is sometimes good shit happens. Believe in the impossible. Ding. Did you hear that? Breathe out. I feel like you've been holding your breath. Holding your breath for some kind of movement, some kind of momentum, some kind of decision, some something, just something, anything. It's like, oh my God, anything. Just give me something. Give me something. You've been holding your breath. Just take a deep breath, okay? Breathe it in. Exhale it out, okay? You no longer have to hold your breath because something is... Something good is happening in this connection. That's like the only way that I can frame it right now. Let me get into the cards. I love the way that this person came out at the very tail end of your love reading as we transitioned so beautifully into it because they've injected themselves into your life. They appeared. They are here. They are present in your energy, in your space. Um, and they're coming with a lot of intensity as well. Um, it's like they're matching your energy. Finally. I keep getting all these notifications now. Please tell me why I didn't get any notifications in your spiritual growth message. When I was working. Nothing. Now. Okay. Injecting a little bit of intensity was a message that we channeled in your spiritual growth reading. And here they are, matching your intensity, matching your energy. And with that, the impossible occurs. The tower, right? You got the tower. And beside is their energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It could be any sign. Um, but I am feeling this fire-like energy in the both of you, Okay. All right, let me shuffle. All right, Knight of Pentacles. I love the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles for Cancer, please, Spirit. Santa Muerte. Knight of Pentacles. Such an incredible energy, the Knight of Pentacles really is slow and methodical very slow but methodical coming to you with the purpose coming to you filled with intention i'm gonna make my intentions known okay someone is ready santa morte empress energy I, it's interesting because I'm like, you've been waiting for something like, can I get something, anything, and the Knight of Pentacles comes out? Because the Knight of Pentacles is not going to come when you tell them to come. The Knight of Pentacles is not going to do that because the Knight of Pentacles comes when they are ready. When they have saw and seen the entire situation and looked at the entire the entirety of the big picture and is ready to come forward. When everything is perfect in their eyes. Okay? So I feel like that's why you've been holding your breath. <laughs> Cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. The double energy. Not a bad energy here. Not at all. Not at all. See, not at all. This is sexual energy. Look what came out on it. On top of it. No pun intended. Come on now. Uh, Ace of Wands. It actually fell right across um, like this. On Santa Morte and the devil energy. Which is telling me that this is an unexpected pregnancy for some of you. Okay. This is an unexpected pregnancy. You have here the Five of Cups. This person was in their head for a very, very, very long time. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is a celebration. You're going to bring a, a child into the world. Two of Wands. 
See, this is a choice. This is a, you didn't decide to make a baby. You didn't decide to make a baby. It just happened. Okay, I'm talking about pregnancy here because this is the first message that is coming through. There are other messages here. I will get into that. I just have to talk about that first. Um, there's a celebration here. Okay, and you have here temperance, balance. Beautiful energy. Sagittarius energy. Look at how much fire there is here. At the bottom of that is the moon, the two of swords, and look at this. The tower again. Again. You hear the tower twice. And the tower is representing beautiful change and unexpected deliveries. Impossible. Impossible is possible. Believe in the impossible. That's the tower energy here in your space. It's something impossible made possible. Okay? Something good is happening in this connection. You didn't think it would. It is. Look at this. Nine of Swords is in the upright. Ten of Swords in the, is in the reverse. I want to talk about this because the, the Ten of Swords right now in this energy for me and what we talked about in your spiritual growth reading, because this is this is a group that we talked about in your spiritual growth message. So highly recommend the entirety of this reading. This is this phantom energy, phantom traumas. It's over. It's done. These are in the past. And what they're doing is they're, they're just circulating inside of your head. And what card did we talk about? We had also the Nine of Swords in your spiritual growth reading, didn't we? Look at the divine angels circulating around you in your subconscious mind. Look at them. These are your thoughts in this realm. And these are the divine angels in the subconscious dimension protecting these thoughts healing these thoughts, these phantom traumas, these phantom energies, because they just simply don't exist. It doesn't exist. It's over. See how many notifications I'm getting now? It's crazy. The worst is behind you. Sometimes good shit happens. Get out of your head. Get out of your head, Cancer. I say that with so much love because I understand that it's easier said than done. I completely understand. Again, what I'm going to reiterate, okay? Hilarion and the Holy Spirit came out for you. Highly felt so guided to go into this into this deck, which I rarely use because there are there is divine assistance here for you, Okay? Invoke their energies and work with the Holy Spirit. Work with Hilarion because they are here for you. Okay? Again, jade crystals. Wearing a lot of jade. Green. Put the jade crystal on your heart chakra. Okay? Just sit, sit there and pray. Okay? Just talk. Speak it out. All right? You know what you need. And the divine, the healing angels also know what you need. All right. Um, so we talked about this pregnancy. Okay. We talked about that. Um, I'm going to move forward from that message. Since that message came out, I don't feel anything else pertaining to that. Um, The message of cutting the cords of the past is still being repeated here. I feel like we talked about this. We touched on this in this reading, provided you with the tools and the assistance that is here for you. Um, I feel like this is what needs to happen. And this is something that is presently occurring in a lot of you, where you are learning how to cut cords from the past. You are learning how to cut cords from phantom traumas, negative thoughts, negative thinking, okay? This is what's happening here. Two of swords, five of cups. Um, there's also an energy with this person. 
It's almost like they will come forward, when they come forward, Knight of Pentacles, with a reason why they took as long as they did. The reason why is going to be different for all of you. Okay, their reasons why. Um, but as we all know, the length of time doesn't necessarily matter because it is all in divine timing. Right? But because you've been holding your breath, waiting for something, can this person just give me something, anything? Nine of Pentacles comes out. They're ready now. Okay? And there's this explanation and reasons why um, that's going to come forward and be expressed to you that they haven't been able to express to you before. The moon. Okay, I am seeing that this person has been emotionally detached in the past. Okay, there is distance, right? Distance. Look at you. You're over here. They're over there on the other side. This could be a physical distance. Okay, some of you may be physically apart. Others of you, this is emotional distance. Okay, and that gap, that gap is being closed. The gap is being closed by the tower. Divine intervention, divine assistance, divine timing. Okay, um, this relationship now is ready to move forward to the next step, Santa Marte. There is a lot of sexual energy, not just physically, okay, the devil is here with, I don't know if I just saw an orb fly by me, um, the ace of wands beside the devil is about creation. Sexual energy is creation. You guys are creating, what did we talk about earlier? You're building. Because the seed, Santa Morte, the seed has already been planted in this relationship. It's been planted a really long time ago. It wasn't time then. There were also unforeseen events in your life in your life in the other person's life there's a loss there was a lot of anger from this loss okay this person had to work on releasing or you this could be your energy on releasing this pain in order look at the last card here eight commitment what did we talk about i said there's eight in your space the number eight and i channeled eight eight next year 2023 is very significant for you cancer look at this 53 another eight you have eight eight back to back you can't make this up energy is energy when you feel energy it's on point the commitment the commitment that you're both going to be making to each other is going to occur. That, that commitment, that next step is commitment. Once all this energy is released, the anger, the grief, the loss, okay? I feel like for some of you, you dated in the past, you guys broke up. I feel that. I feel like you dated. I don't know how far you got into committing to each other. Some of you were in a, like a, a long committed relationship. Some of you were just dating this person. Like just, sorry. <laughs> just dating this person, not necessarily in a committed relationship, but you really liked, to, liked each other. You were in each other's life, but there were just all these unforeseen events that occurred in your life and their life. It was just seemed like, oh my God, not, there's just give me something. Just give me something. But it just wasn't the right time. Okay? So I feel like this commitment is coming for you guys. And when it does, the relationship is waterproof. 
You can get through any storm. You can weather through any storm. All right. Thank you to the crows for just validating all of that. Um, so, yes, I see you guys building. Okay, I see you guys. There... You don't need to engage in sexual intercourse with someone to build with them. That's what this energy is telling me. There's so much life force here that is being utilized between the both of you. There's so much intensity, again, being injected into this relationship. Because you have injected intensity into yourself, into your experiences, into the things that you want to enjoy. They've also consciously made that decision for themselves as well. And so now you're both in this relationship and this commitment injecting all this power and life into what you want to create. Into what you want to create and alchemize you're making a conscious choice two of wands to do this together look at the two cups together right together two of cups together i'm seeing someone's birthday here um With the Three of Cups, I'm seeing a birthday. I'm seeing some kind of event where you're going to be celebrating with friends. Um, or a baby shower is something that I'm seeing here. This could be connected to that pregnancy message in the beginning. Um, this could just be something that you've recently went to. A friend of yours, a baby shower, a message is coming through that could just be confirmation for someone out there. Um... This Three of Cups is so gorgeous because this is talking about togetherness, celebration, and ultimately joy. Injecting this joyous energy into your relationship, into your lives. Okay? Believe in the impossible. Sometimes good shit happens, Cancer. Okay? I love you guys so very much. I hope this reading helps. I will see you guys next time.